welcome all so as per the request or demand of your people and continuing with the next part of seed that is seed germination where the germination means the process where the seed embryo is awakened the embryo which is dormant for certain period by getting the favorable conditions now it becomes active and sprouting takes place which results in the formation of new plantlet we call it as germination of the seed here broadly speaking there are different types of germination as hypogeal germination epigeal germination and viviparous germination we we'll see one by one the hypogeal means when the seedling growth occurs after sprouting after sprouting when the seedling is going to get formed that is sprout of the seed when a radical emerges out we call it as sprouting and in this case the cotyledons of the seed they remain below the soil because of the fast growth of the epicotyl region the cotyledons they remain below the soil this type we call it as hypogeal germination it is observed in most of the monocots and some dicots which are having larger seeds in them they show this type of germination the second type that is epigeal germination exactly opposite to this when the sprouting occurs that is when the seeds they sprout that time the cotyledons they are coming up because of the slow growth of the epicotyl they are above ground the cotyledons they are above ground we call it as epigeal type of germination where we observe the plants like most of the horticulturally used plants the woody plants they show this type of germination in them next type that is viviparous germination in animals also we are using this terms that is oviparous and viviparous oviparous ovum means egg egg laying we call them as oviparous while the animals which are giving birth to their child and once where the young one is growing inside the mother's womb we call them as viviparous similarly here also the seeds they are germinating inside the fruit for example in case of mangroves in case of mangrove plants the fruits when they become mature inside these fruits the seeds they start germination and these seeds they grow into small seedlings and these seedlings they fall down in the surrounding layers of soil and there they get implanted they are they are they are planted in this soil directly the seedlings from the fruit means the seeds they are germinating in the fruit only they are not germinating on the ground the reason is that here the soil which is present we know that mangroves they are growing in the estuarine areas where the mixture of sand and soil is there 
and water is also mixture of water of oceans and the rivers so here saline water is there marshy area is there and it is not favorable for germination of the seed so that is why these plants they show viviparous type of germination so it is normal course where we observe hypogeal epigeal or vivipary when germination is concerned but sometimes some special conditions are observed like pre harvesting sprout that is some seeds before we harvest them they start germination in the fruits only it is our common observation that the sweet pea plant that is matta or the groundnut that is peanut we many times we observe that inside the pod only they start sprouting that is called as pre harvest sprout while some plants are there where we observe in between condition or combination of hypogeal and epigeal condition means when the germination occurs that time one cotyledon it is coming above ground while one cotyledon it remains below ground so it is hypo as well as epigeal type of germination combination of hypo and epigeal type of germination for example some species of peperomia they show this type of combination germination in them the next part we are going to deal with about the seed is exactly what are the factors which affect this process of germination so we we'll see one by one all these factors so some factors we consider them as external factors some of them they are internal factors and some factors these are agronomic or some other category factors so broadly these factors are there because of which germination gets affected so first we'll deal with external factors the first external factor is water it is obvious that whenever any growth or any physiological function is there physiological process is there water is must without water the cells will not remain active so first of all the seeds they must be imbibed in water so that they become active and physiological processes they get started with because whatever germination occurs it is at the cost of reserved food which is present in the seed so physiological process is must next factor is temperature there is certain range of temperature that is below 0 uh, degrees of temperature and above 50 degrees celsius the germination is arrested the reason may be the enzymatic activities they are arrested at such temperatures so that range must be there so that the seed will germinate fast next factor is light light is not favorable factor for germination the seeds which are exposed to light if we compare them the seeds which are kept in darkness they sprout early for sprouting light is not necessary on the other hand it will uh, go on hampering the speed of germination because of light germination or sprouting becomes slow 
नेक्स्ट सबस्टम सो वेने वर वी ट्राई टू जर्मिनेट द सीड्स मेडियम इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज इन नेचुरल कंडीशन वी आर ग्रोइंग देम इन सॉइल बट इन लैबोरेटरी वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड सम सबस्टम लाइक टिश्यू पेपर और वॉट वी कॉल इट एज ब्लॉटिंग पेपर विच आर केप्ट मॉइस्ड इन द पेटे डिशेस वेर वी आर ट्राइंग टू जर्मिनेट द सीड्स सो दैट सबस्टम इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट so almost all these external factors they affect the seed germination next some internal factors so whenever the seeds they are formed the mature healthy seeds they contain certain amount of food material in them which is useful for the growth and development of the embryo so that food material is very important because of that only germination is possible the energy is given by this the amount of auxins it is also going to affect the process of germination if auxins are not present the favorable auxins for growth they are required for germination usually you are uh, using gibberellic acid treatment for uh, overcoming the dormancy in laboratory conditions also so amount of hormones is required for germination next very important factor is viability so viability is very important because it is nothing but the capacity of germination whether the seeds they are capable of germination or not that is very important because the seeds when they are kept in uh, unfavorable conditions they remain dormant we accept this thing but if we are providing the favorable conditions and still then the seeds they are not germinating means obviously some problem is there with the embryo so the active embryos are required for germination purpose that is viability of the seeds is very important factor some seeds they are having short duration viability while some seeds they are viable for hundreds of years you can keep them you can use them for germination purpose next factor is dormancy of course dormancy is must that is why we can store the seeds it is possible for us to store the seeds because the seeds are dormant but if this dormancy is problematic that is even when you are going to provide the favorable conditions then Uh, that dormancy if it is not bro broken if it is not breaking then that is problematic thing but overall saying dormancy period is also must in the seeds so that factor which is internal factor but this dormancy must be broken by providing the factors which are useful which are favorable for germination purpose some other factors are there that is some agronomic factors are there where some stresses that is if the plant has faced some stress like high temperature stress or uh, unfavorable climatic conditions or very extreme climatic conditions then uh, directly or indirectly it is going to affect the germination of the seed some seeds are there which require some special treatments for their germination purpose so special treatments like some mechanical treatments some physical treatments are required some chemical treatments are required so those other factors they are also important as far as germination is concerned 
when we discuss dormancy in detail that time we come across all these things next factor is ecology climatic conditions of the particular area where you are growing those seeds that is important because some factors which are adaptive factors soil related factors some factors which are like temperature or light or condition of the day length of the day intensity of the light duration of the light all these factors even availability of rainfall in that area so all those factors which are ecological factors they are going to affect the germination the next factor that is soil salinity so it is observed that saline soils that is salty soils they are preferably not useful ground for germination if salinity is very high we cannot germinate the seeds properly they are going to affect the rate of germination so overall these factors are important when we consider the seed germination